their families wish they were here. Don't you ever be selfish enough to take a gift that God gave you and to give it back to him. That is a slap in God's face and you don't ever want to do that. Do you hear me, Takaira? Yes. And let me tell you a little secret. Mm -hmm. <sighs> when I was little, I never thought about suicide or actually hurting myself because, you know, I'm a real ass mm -hmm. bitch and you bitch, I don't want to put no pain on myself. But I used to always pray that I wouldn't wake up. I do because I'm, I've always been spiritual my whole life. And I always knew that, you know, that's probably one of the worst things you could ever do is to commit suicide. Like, you know, they say what they say about the gay people. But, you know, I always heard suicide is automatically hell. Am I the only one that heard that? Have y'all ever heard that? I, I always heard that suicide I always is heard that automatically, suicide hell. automatically hell. And I'm going I'm to drop you, babe, because it's, it's um echoing. But when it, is it echoing still? No. Okay. And because I didn't ever want to go to hell or disappoint God, I just used to pray. And I used to just be like, God, you see what I'm going through from my, my family to school. Like, if you love me like you say you do, you will just get me out of here. Yes. And now that I'm older, yes. I thank God for knowing what was best for me. Because... You never know what the future may hold. You understand me? Yes. You never know who you may be. You never know who needs you. You know there are people out there that need you, Takira? Yes. And I need you to remind yourself every day you are beautiful, you are important, and girl, truth be told, it's hard for all of us, bitch. Don't think that just because I got these motherfucking views and all these people that love me, don't think that it's not hard. You understand me? It's hard for all of us. Yes. But you are a you are a survivor. You know that. So any of those dark ideas you've ever had, let them go. Can you let them go for me tonight? Yes. If you, if you call me your mother and you love me like you say you do, do your mother a favor and let go of those. Oh my God, take it. It's no longer in my hands. Absolutely, baby girl. Absolutely. Baby. I love you. You, mama. I wish I could hug you. I wish I could hug you. I've been through hurt. I've been traumatized as a kid. Because growing up as a kid, did nobody want to do anything with me or be around me. So, where's your family? So, where's your my mom is in the room, and my dad's in the room, and my niece, my niece, she's asleep. How old are you? How old are you? 21. Okay. Okay. And so do you have any friends you want to out with? Yeah, but, but sometimes when I get around them, and I just get frustrated, like, I just, I just... I wish my grandma, I wish my grandma was here right now in the name of Jesus. Because I would be happy if she was standing right here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Where is she? But, uh, Where is she? She's gone. Yeah. Yeah. She passed away before my birthday. 
my 20th birthday. Do you know she's watching you? And do you know she's pushing you? And do she know, do you know you still got to make her proud? You got to make her proud. It's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. Well, I want you to go. I want us to get out of this energy. Um, if you ever want to talk, you are more than welcome to inbox me. You can share your IG so we can definitely keep in contact. And I want you to always reach out to me because maybe we could be personal friends. We could FaceTime personally. And we can have conversation, check on each other, make sure each other's doing okay. 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 Okay, mother. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. Love you too, mom. Later.